hey there welcome back to tube guruji channel in this video we are going to develop this beautiful blog website using the react and tailwind css so this blog website is fully responsive and it's platform independent so you can use anywhere okay also i'm going to teach you everything from the basic if you are beginner and you you don't know about the react or a tailwind css don't worry because this course is completely a beginner friendly course and as i say this is completely responsive so if you see right we have this header then we have this beautiful search bar we have this filter options then we have this uh, intro post slider uh, intro posts uh, component and then list of post and the last but the not least the footer also once you click on any of this post it will open the new page so also we are going to learn a very important concept called react uh, routing so also at the end of this course we are going to deploy this uh, web application on versal which is completely free then i will tell you how to deploy it on the versal as well okay as i say it's fully responsive even though if i uh, decrease the screen size right if if you consider and if i decrease the screen size you see the change right and depends on the screen size it automatically change the layout of the applications so Tailwind CSS will help you to do that and I will tell you how to use that and do the full application response you. So without doing any further delay, let's begin. And if you did not subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are interested in learning a React Native course, then I just dropped a new course uh, to build the educational app from the React Native and which is again a completely beginner friendly. You can go and check also you have a different different uh, course you will find on my channel so guys if you did not subscribe to my channel please do subscribe so in order to create a wheat react project go to the desired folder and open the command prompt by typing cmd it will open the command prompt then just type npm create with at let it okay so once you type this command it will ask do you want to proceed say yes then you want to give the project name so in this case we have creating block so i will say block and i will say youtube okay then i will ask the framework which you want to select right so we have different type of framework in this case we are selecting the react then which typescript do you want to use typescript or javascript so right now we will use the javascript and done your project project is get created that's the reason we are using wit as a build tool because it's very fast and very compatible and if you create this same application using the create react app command it will take a long time okay now let's go back uh, go to this um, blog dash yt folder okay this is our project folder right and just install this dependencies okay so there is some default dependency when you create the project it will add it so you have to install that dependency by typing npm space i and uh, once this project uh, that all the dependencies installed just open uh, project by typing code space dot and it will open the vs code Okay. and if you see on the left hand side you will see node modules public source okay and everything is there so this is the app.jsx uh, which is our starting point for our uh, react application okay and uh, if you open the terminal uh, in the vs code right so i will increase the size and you can go to the terminal section and you can uh, click on new terminal it will open new terminal for you okay and here just type npm run dev okay and uh, if you see right once you type this within a few seconds uh, your application get built and this is the url where you can access uh, the application right so this is the endpoint this is the 5173 is the portal number and if you see you will see this particular default page okay and it's saying with plus react okay so don't worry about what is with it's just a build tool and to make our application much faster um, to load and faster to build okay so that's the reason we are using the um, bit 
and this is the default code so right now i will remove everything and save it and if you go back you will see nothing on the screen next we will install the tailwind css so just go here and cl click here new tab and just type tailwind css with okay and it will uh, show you the first link to install tailwind css with wit okay so here uh, we already uh, completed uh, created this particular step uh, which is to create the application which is our first step right then next step we have to execute this command so copy this particular command go back to our uh, vs code and add a new terminal and execute this line of command then install this tailwind css uh, the second command so this once you uh, is uh, execute this command it will create two new files called postcss.config.js and tailwind.config.js right so in the tailwind.config.js if you follow the step 3 right you have to just copy this line of code and go to tailwind.config.js and paste it here and save it then the next step is copy this all three line of import statement and if you see right in index.css we have to add that one so let's go to index.css about this one you have to add it like this and save it and then you have to add the uh, you just need to rerun your project before that uh, you can test it um, whether it's tailwind css installed or not by adding this line of code okay so in app.jsx if i paste it here it just um, adding the text size as a 3 excel and if I hover on it, you will see the font size, which is uh, equivalent to 13 pixel, and line height is 36 pixel. Okay, and it added font bold, that is font weight, and the underline. Okay, and save it. Now just stop our uh, build first, and then rerun the application. So it will build the project. If you go back our project, refresh the screen, and if you see the hello world is displaying on the screen with the, all the style which we applied with the help of Tailwind CSS okay quick and fast uh, that's the reason we are using the wheat we are using the tailwind css and throughout the particular uh, this course you will learn everything about react and tailwind css even though you are a beginner okay so now if you see this our application right we have the header then we have this search section and this filter uh, options okay they so what we will do we will divide our application in different different components and we create uh, the different file for each components okay and then we bring together everything so for a header we will create one component then we will create for the search and filter one then we have this um what will you say the intro blog okay and this then the list of blocks okay so first of all let's create a uh, header and then we will go from there okay so go back to our vs code uh, inside the source folder we are creating new folder called components also we are creating another folder uh, in a source folder only called pages okay so inside page i will create a new file called blog sorry just we call home dot js okay, and uh, here right in order to add the default template First of all, uh, let's go to the uh, VS Code extension and just search for the React extension. And here you will see this ES7 plus React Redux native. Okay. So install this uh, particular extension. The reason is right when you are creating any new component, you have to add the default template. And with the help of that particular extension, you can easily add the default template. If I type RFCE, right, which is the React function export component, and enter it, if you see the magic directly uh, this extension added you the default template for you okay and save it that's it now once you added this home.jsx go to the app.jsx and remove this particular code here you have to import this particular home component okay so once you import this home component make sure the import statement is there and save it right now if you go back to our application you'll see this home word over here right now right now it's coming in the middle right of the screen so 
just uh, remove some styling so if you go to the main dot j sorry the index dot css right come to here in the body section you will see this particular uh, css right remove that one and save it and if you check now it will come in the center but not in the screen center right horizontally is coming in the center still at the top side then in the app dot css you will see hash root right here it's mentioned text align to be center and giving some padding and margin remove that one and save it and if you go back now it's coming in the corner where we need to start writing our code for the our blog application okay next now we have the home page where we are showing this all this content we are putting all this content right now first we have to add this header so go to the components and add header dot jsx you can say whatever name you want to give like navigation bar or something like that right and add the default template rfc right same add another template called search dot jsx okay add the default template by doing rfc it will add the default template okay. then add the another one called intro blog intro post okay dot j6 add the default template and another team another section if you see right uh, header is completed search then this intro block and then blocks blog list or the blocks dot j6 at the intro um, default template and at the last uh, let's see what we have we have the footer okay and then add the footer dot j6 okay. rfc so all file we created for um, all the components we created now just in the home dot j6 right you have to import these components depends on the sequence you want to show it right so first if you see right we have header so here we first of all uh, in the div or you can give the empty tag as well like this okay but i will keep dev uh, if you want to apply some styling right it's better to give dev so first of all uh, we want to show headers so import the header then we have the search so search component so here i will write search sorry, so search like this this is the header right so this is a header this is search then what is we have intro post intro post Oops, intro post and import the intro post okay then we have the blocks and import the blocks and the last we have the footer right footer and then make sure you will import the footer Okay, perfect so all of these uh, components we imported if i save right and if you go back to application you'll see this header then we have search bar intro post block and footer perfect now let's try, uh, implement the header so now in order to implement the header if you see our mockup So, in order to implement the header, if you see our mockup, right, we have this logo uh, in the, on the left hand side, this menu on the middle, and this subscribe button on the right hand side, right. So, let's go back to our uh, project, and here you will see the header.jsx, right. Also, uh, I created a new folder called images in the assets folder where I put the banner and the logo for our project, okay. Here, add the image source, okay. In order to uh, implement the header, I already have a banner and logo added in the images folder inside the asset folder. Okay, so that we can use it directly from our local only. So go to the header.jsx and here we will uh, add the logo first. So let's just write image.source and inside the curly braces we will add this logo. Right before that, we have to import the logo from the asset folder. So just type uh, import logo from and then give the path. Okay, so in this case, asset slash images slash logo dot png. Okay, and then add this logo over here. 
okay if i save it if i go back to our application you will see this tube guruji is coming okay but right now if i put 100 pixel right it's too big correct so uh, you have to give some class name before that i will add the menu so just ul tag inside the ul i will add the layer tag and say home then we have the about us and then we have the contact us okay and the last we have the button okay so button name is subscribe and then we have the logo so we'll add the logo later now let's give some styling to our images right but before that this is how it looks okay so let me put uh, side by side okay perfect now for this one let's add a class name and just give the width so in order to give the custom width you have to write in a bracket right so this is a tailwind css uh, classes so in this case i will give 180 pixel okay. and then uh, i will keep right now as it is then uh, you have to bring everything in one line right so for this parent view just add the class name and make it display as a flex okay if i if you hover on it you will see this css property called display colon flex correct now for this you will tag bring it everything in one line so just say class name to be flex okay and let's give some gap of four okay. now this gap of four is applicable throughout the uh, it's, it's not depend on the screen size right if i increase the screen size you will see this gap is very small when i screen size is bigger but when the screen size is smaller that is fine for me right so what i will do when the screen size is medium i can increase the gap size to gap of maybe uh 14 and save it now if you see you increase the size the gap is gap uh, between these two items is change and now also along with this parent do uh, display flex i will also add the justify between okay so it will be at the end right we'll see typically on the one hand subscribe buttons on the other hand right and one more property is make it item to be in center so all the item in vertical will be in one line you see perfect okay now let's use some styling to this one so i will add the class name and on a hover i just want to change the font weight to be bold so i will say hover on hover okay just change the font to be means make make it font to be bold okay so this is how easily you can add with the tailwind css just you need to write hover colon and what change need to be done and if i hover in it you will see the change see right i will also make the pointer to be cursor and you say pointer is changing once i hover on this button okay i will copy this class and i will paste it for the all remaining minutes okay. if i hover on it you will see the change okay perfect now let's uh if you see right we have the subscribe button and we have to change it uh, accordingly this one right so i apply some styling to this one so for this subscribe button add the class name then say background to be red okay and you will see bunch of option so in this case i will say 500 then i will make it corner to be rounded and i want to be a full rounded okay and also i will make text to be white and if you see the change you will see this one okay perfect now we want to add the logo or uh, the youtube logo right so this is the one of the best uh, react official library for the icons first of all you have to uh, just install this particular dependency so copy this particular command execute in your terminal i already installed okay then you can select whatever the icons you want so in this case i will select the ioni icon 5 okay and inside that you can search for the youtube so i will i will i have this uh, io logo youtube so just after the subscribe right we want to add the logo so i will add it like this and in the tag in the, so this act as a tag okay but this is actually text uh, kind of thing and then you have to make sure you will import from which type you are importing this particular icon so in this case we are importing from ioni icon 5 and then replace this icon name with the icon you are using okay and if i save it if you go back here right in your application you will see this button is coming 
correct now let's bring it in one line so here you can say flex and if you see it's in one line now let's also add the item to be in the center and then for this one right what i will do i will give margin left to be three and save it and if you see margin left is applied i will also increase the font size of this one so just write text and just write the font size okay and 20 pixel and you see it's changed and everything is working how is working typically name is coming and if i decrease the screen size right still is looking perfectly fine okay so it's fully responsive next we will add the search functionality so now next we will implement this uh, search functionality okay so we have this uh, image in the background then we have this search uh, input and the filter option so let's go back to our vs code here uh, inside the search.js right we will implement the, uh, the search for uh, ui so make sure in home.jx you will import the search component and save it so if you see here we are getting this search right we got this size now let's go back to search and first of all we will add the image so make sure you will import the banner image so i will say banner from and to give the path of this image so in in this case it's assets inside assets we have image folder inside the image we have banner dot png okay make sure our image is there so if you see the extension jpg so give jpg save it here add the image tag image source and inside that um, this curly braces we have to add the back okay, and save it now if you see the result we got this image okay so we want it in the center correct and the corner to be rounded so just add the um, class name and here we have to add class name align with center take center save it and uh, over here get the rounded to be maybe large like this make it i will make it to excel yeah that is okay and we want to put it in the center so x justify center let's see how it looks and if you see it's coming perfectly fine now give some margin from the top okay so if you see we have pretty much good margin so over here only i give margin from top to seven maybe eight. and then let's add the input okay so here i will green div because we want to apply some style uh, to this input as well and we want to add the icon as well okay so let's say input prop type text and add the placeholder as well yes i will add search and save it if you see right it's added in this search right the reason is coming in one letter right? because here we added as a flex so here you can make it make it as a uh, flex direction to be uh, so, so sorry, we want to flex to be column so let's just add the flex dash column and bingo it's here okay but if you see right uh, this of uh, because the image is getting enlarged right so we have to give some uh, width but instead of width right we can give some padding from the x-axis so here i can give padding of x-axis so let's say padding x to be uh, maybe we have a pixel let's see how it looks okay so we want more maybe 100 and 
that is okay i think so and this look good and this padding okay so you can give this padding instead of here you can give it here only okay to d only so that uh, this round corner will be, will be there and it's applicable to all this uh, particular component okay and uh, if now if i decrease the screen size right if you see the padding is still maintaining 150 so in order to avoid that depends on the screen size you can add the padding for so this padding we can add for the medium size screen and the when screen size is smaller we can add this padding little smaller not that much right like this okay if you see it's working perfectly fine now it's padding is if screen size is larger or medium then uh, we are getting extra padding so if you see right we are getting this outline so first of all i will remove that outline so let's add the class name and just say outline winner and save it okay now you don't have any outline so next uh some add some uh, uh styling to this particular view right so add class name first i will uh, add the background to be white okay and then i will share will add some shadow so let's say shadow large so we'll get like this right also add padding of four okay so you'll get like this and uh, i will add the rounded corner to be large okay if you see we get the rounded corner perfect then um, let's add the margin top so we want on over on over this particular banner right so margin top minus 20 pixel and save it okay so it will look like this perfect now we want only at the center right so what i will do i will give the margin on x-axis to be 25 percent like this and if you see it's what perfectly fine and i will literally decrease this padding to four to three and if you see our we got the result okay now we have this search placeholder we also want to show the icon if you see this prototype right we have this icon as well so let's add that one so you know uh, we have to go to the icon react icons react icons and uh, here let's go to this I mean, icon 5 search bar search and this one so let's so we want it before this input right so i will add it like this okay and i have to add the import statement for this icon type add the import statement okay and make sure you will replace this with the icon like icon name and now if you see the result okay you got like this okay just you need to in order to put all uh, in one line just add the flex okay and then item to be in the center here i will also add the margin left to be two okay? and let's increase the size and change the color for this icon so I will add text to be 20 pixel and the color we want the color to be uh, gray color so let's add text gray and something like this maybe maybe less light uh, darker yeah, perfect it's matching okay and now you can type it like this we have search bar we have this particular beautiful uh, search bar with the shadow and everything correct next if you see right we have this uh, all the tags right and this tags uh, we have to add it and uh, this is a actually filter option when you click it right uh, automatically the content will get changed so that particular um but uh, uh, tags we will add it here now let's implement this filter option okay 
so i made some little change that uh, right now right if you see uh, the background is blue but according to our theme i changed to red okay so here i already added this tax list okay uh, you know one constant called tax and which has include the id and the name of the tag so here i will add one div and uh, in that div i will add the i will reiterate that tag so in order to iterate right just your tax dot map inside that uh, put item and do like this okay so this is the arrow function that we need to use so, and then uh, instead of div i will use ul okay. and inside that we'll use li in li you can iterate that item so here uh, we have to define item dot and we want to show the name so the name right and you see all react react native angular everything is populated right now we want to put it horizontally so for this parent view you can make it as a flex and then do some gap so i will give gap of 10 okay and just mention justify center so it will be in the center okay and let's give some margin from the top so let's margin top 5 and perfect okay now for this one right uh, for this tag First of all, what I will do, uh, we need a click event, right? And depends on the selection of the particular filter, we want to change the background of this particular uh, selection of this tag, correct? So let's add the class name, and here we will add the dynamic class, okay? So depends on the condition, it means conditional class. So like this, you have to define, so incredible basis, the two tags, and then we have to define the condition, okay? So for example, if so first of all let's uh, add one variable here which store the active index value right so i will say constant active index comma set active index in order to set the value for the active index and we will use the inbuilt hook call use state oh sorry i already defined here okay see okay, so you have to define like this and initially you can give value for example if i give value at zero and that's all okay now this active index will store once you click on any of this uh, particular tag we will save the value uh, whether it's 0 1 2 or 3 kind of thing right so for that reason i will add the index here and uh, in order to add the conditional uh, classes right you have to define like this and then in curly braces you can define the condition so for example index is equal equal to active index right then you can define some style so for example let's say style background rate to be 500 okay otherwise i don't want anything and save it you see the current value is zero that's the reason it's applied for this uh, zeroth element right also uh, let's give some uh, other uh, what do you say uh i say so in this case i will use text white and save it okay also now for example let's add on click method to this one right and what it will do it will set the value for our act, act, uh, active index so you can use set active index and set the value as an index so this index value will be saved here when you click on any of this item okay so if i save it if i click on it right you see it works right now i apply some styling to this one so let's put it here okay uh, put it like this so now after this one i will add the padding x uh, padding to be uh, one and padding bottom to be two okay like this and round it to be small initially okay when the screen size is medium i will make the rounded to be uh, full okay and make it cursor pointer and save it you see perfect if i increase the size let me remove this one if we increase size it's working perfectly fine okay let me add a little more styling so here i can add the when the screen size is medium i will add the padding excess to be four right and then it looks perfectly beautiful okay see also uh, we can add little more uh, to this one right so what we'll do we will add some hover effect okay so after this one let's add hover effect 
on hover we can scale the size of this text you see if i hover in right the size scale the size is change also on hover we can add the border only okay so on hover we can add the border border to be one pixel okay and then i will add the border color to be red 500 if i save it see we'll get the border okay in order to right now if you see that this animation is too fast right so in order to uh, avoid that right we want a smooth animation so in order to achieve that you have to use transition on and same set some duration right and animation type is in out if you see perfect if i increase the size you will see the change okay perfect next we are going to implement uh, this particular uh, block section okay so how to uh, display the block also uh, we will fetch this block from the api so for that we are using axios and then we i will show you how to fetch this um, uh, data from api and then show it on the screen so in this particular uh, tutorial right i am using the strapi in order to uh, write the blog right and that that is a uh, cms i am using so and that one uh, from the strapi i am getting this particular uh, api where i am getting this result right in the json format if you don't know how to use strapi or how to create the application in strapi so uh, i'm i have this video so you can go and check this and uh, in that particular video you will get to know how to install strapi how to set up the uh, all your collection the model and everything right and very easy and quick and it's completely free so from that i have this api and these are the field i'm getting it okay for my blocks and for uh, for our re in react right in order to fetch the data from the url or in, in the api i am using this axios http client okay this is very powerful and very easy to use so first of all copy this command line in on in order to install uh, in your application then go to your project uh, open the terminal and execute this line of command then it's very easy to use so if you go to the minimal example they show how to use that one okay so first of all you just need to import the particular uh, axios and then you can use it right so let's go back to our application here i will create a new folder in a source called services inside the services i will create a new folder called global global api.jsx and here i will use the exo so first of all let's define a constant and uh, let's define a base url for our api endpoint so in this case our base url is uh, this one localhost 1337 like this okay then define uh, get post method and here you have define axios make sure you will import the axios and we have a different method if you see right get post patch delete okay so in this case we will say get and we need to pass the endpoint okay so for first of all we have to add the base url and then just pass the endpoint so in this case the endpoint is block question mark popularity equal star okay so popularity equal star it give me the all the um, required field like like images and everything okay and now in order to access uh, make it accessible throughout the application you have to export it so export default and mention it in like this get post now it accessible uh, anywhere in the application now in the component we have this uh, intro post right where we are implementing this intro post make sure in app.jss you imported the uh, sorry in a home we added this intro post okay so i will make it enable and let's go back to our application so here and if you see we got the intro post okay 
now here first we will face the information so what you have to do define one method called constant gate post is equal to like this the okay, arrow function and here you have to define global api dot you have method called get post okay and then you have to define the uh, you don't need to do anything here actually get post dot then function and the give the, the response okay so make first we will console the response let's see what we are getting okay and we have to call it right so we will use the inbuilt use effect if you don't know about the use effect so uh this is this is the uh, inbuilt react hook when you launch this uh, particular component right it will execute this use effect okay if you did not provide any empty array light it will execute each moment in every second right so in order to avoid that we'll pass the empty array so that when you whenever this component load it executes only once okay and now you can call this method get post perfect say and save it now if you go back here go to the inspect panel and check the console you might get okay so we ignore this part and if you see the object right we are getting some data okay so data and here we got in in the data we have again data and where we have all these attributes and everything okay so in order to avoid that uh, in order to access this right you have to access with the data response dot data dot data and save it uh, i refresh it and if you see now we get only the data which we wanted okay see perfect now if you see we have this error called uh, the child in the list could have the unique key prop right in search 42 right now if you go back to the search here we use the map right here so but we have to define our element uh, uniquely so here you have to define a key for that one and you can define like item dot id because id is unique right and save it now if you go back in this one refresh and the error gone okay perfect So, in the last uh, section, we added this uh, API call in the intro post. I removed this API call from the intro post and put it in the home.jsx. Okay. And uh, also, once I receive this get post, right, I map this result, manipulate the result accordingly with my requirements. So, I'm just putting ID, title, description, title, and cover image from that uh, all the fields which is coming from the response and i am setting it in the set post method right so here i also define the use state in order to set the value the code for all this project is in the uh, link is in the description you can just check it out okay if you um you have any question or anything now we ha have all the data in the post method we have the value okay so in intro post what we will do we will pass this value so we will say post okay and we just want to show the first and latest post so we just uh, pass the zeroth element okay the first element from the post list okay also when the data is load right uh, it will this api will take some time to load the data from the server right and it might uh, face issue for example if i save it go back to our application and go to the inspect panel So here refresh the screen right now we are not getting any error right but sometimes if uh we did not it sometimes home page um, this api will take some time to load the data and we will not get the result right so in order to avoid that what we will do we will write one condition here so we will write post dot length is greater than zero and show this intro post uh component otherwise show null as simple as that right and save it then go to the intro post and into into the intro post we have this post method right oh, sorry uh, the we are we have to accept that uh post over here okay and they so that we can write it for example let's say post dot title okay and save it and now if you go back you will see the first uh the post title of the first post right it's getting display on the screen now let's uh design and implement the post so let me go back here 
let me close this one let me put aside and this one perfect okay now we have the post title right so i will remove this one and first of all we will add the image source so let's add image source and uh, the image we are coming from post dot cover image right why cover image because in home.js we manipulate the data right and we map the data according to our requirements so if you go back to home uh, the home.jsx right here we will see we have the cover image right so that's the reason i put the cover image i save it you will see the cover image like this correct then what else we want we want to show the uh, title as well right uh, the block title so here we can define in h3 uh, tag i can define or maybe it's for here you can see oh sorry first of all uh we want to show the tag so it's for and let's define the post dot tag okay then we want post dot title i can make h2 it doesn't matter because we anyway how we are giving the styling right and then we are adding the description so i will say post.dsc okay, and save it and here you see all we are getting everything right now we want um, side by side correct so in order to do that let me uh, do like this so let's give uh, first of all let's give class name over here and mark it as a flex okay once you mark it as a flex it will look like this okay very very <laughs> weird actually so for uh for the description right what will they do the class name and just do the line clamp so only uh first six for example six line i want to show it so just lay six and you will see only for six lines on the screen okay then uh instead of flex right we will add the grid and we'll say grid column two okay so we'll get the two column right but we have to make sure that when the screen is size is smaller right if screen size like this we have to change the size means so we want to put it everything in one screen right so what i will do i will add the column two when the screen size is medium and then we have to add grid column s1 when the screen size is smaller you see it change immediately right let's add some uh, uh let's bring this down oh sorry uh, we'll add the margin from top to 10 then px of 10 and when the medium uh the screen size is medium i will add the pixels uh the uh, horizontal padding of 15 okay and when the screen size is larger i will add the padding of 32 okay and let's add a gap as well between this and this element right right now uh it's in smaller screen obviously it will look like this but if i increase the screen size it will look like this okay Oops, sorry okay. now let's add some uh styling to this image right so here for image we will add the class name and we add the rounded uh, corner so just add rounded to be large okay and object to be cover and width to be full okay. also height i will make it full and perfect it's look good you can add the this is only little more like pixel perfect add some styling to this tag so let's class name and i want tag color to be red and 500 okay. and for the title i will add the styling so let's say text of um, 23 pixel and font to be bold and margin top i will do fine okay. perfect and uh, then for this description right we will add the text of little gray color so let's add the gray of 400 and give margin top to 5 okay. and that's look good okay. 
now if you see this uh, layout right we have this authors as well the image the name and the who, when it posted right so in order to implement that one right let's add one more div okay. that div add the image source okay. for now i am putting the uh, default image so i will have the url we'll just paste it, paste it like this okay and just add the class name for that one so let's add width of uh, 50 pixel and the rounded to be full okay because i want circular rounded and save it if you see it's working fine right also i will add the class name here and let's give margin to five now next we have to add the author's name and details so here i will add the h3 tag and in that i will say give guruji and one more h3 tag for the date so let's hard code some dates okay. you can replace it with the response okay we'll add it add it that later and save it right now we have that this information like let's bring it all together right so here you have to say flex and it will be in the line also add the item to be in the center right. okay now uh, for this div what i'll do class name and say margin sorry margin left to uh, maybe two and let's do some styling to this author's name so here i can say font to be bold and for this one as well i will just change the color to 500 and save it perfect now if i increase the size it will look like this which is what we needed so now let's implement the blocks uh, section so we have this type of grid where we are showing the blocks okay so let's implement that one make make sure in home.jsx we will enable these blocks and also we will add the same condition over here okay and uh, make sure we will pass the posts okay so here i will say posts because we are passing multiple posts and we are passing all the post list okay also you can put uh, this condition one div and then you can show it it's up to you okay but for the simplicity purpose and this tutorial is completely beginner i will show uh, like this okay and then save it now go back to blocks here make sure you will accept the posts okay. now you have the post data now let's implement this uh, uh, the ui for these posts so here first of all define image source inside the image source you have to define post right but we have to iterate that post right so here you can define posts dot map and item do the arrow function okay and inside that i will define the div and then bring this image inside this div okay and close the tag now put this item dot cover image because we know the cover image we want to show it as an image and save it now if you let me bring this here okay so if you see we got this image correct now we want it in one line correct so here we can define class name and define it as a grid okay and then when the screen size is smaller we will define grid as a one okay then the screen size is medium we can define grid uh, with the two column and when the screen size, screen size is larger we can define the grid of column three okay as simple as that and save it now if you see the result it will look like this okay but if you remember right we give some padding um, margin to this intro post same padding and margin we will add it here as well so let's go to the intro post copy this margin padding uh, the everything up to here okay and paste it for this div tag and then save it now if you see the result oops sorry if you see this result you will see like this okay perfect now let's add some uh after image let's add the title tag and the description so here i will add the h3 tag then i will add the uh item dot 
tag then two more for one for the title and one for the description okay and then save it now make sure the we have to show the description up to three lines so i will clamp the line up to three only okay and let's give some styling to this image source so let's add the class name and here you can give the width of 35 pixel and round it oh sorry uh, so here you can give uh, not the 35 we have to give the full width let's do full width and rounded corner to be 2 xl so let's round it to 2 xl and uh, also i will do the object to be cover okay and if you see the result it will look like this okay after that for this due right uh, we will give some uh, margin of 4 okay and also i will make the cursor pointer so once uh, i hover on it you will see the pointer cursor right and this looks perfectly fine next we will add the uh, definite height for this image so add the height of for example 200 pixel so each of this post will be in the same size okay now let's give some uh, styling to this tag so add the class name and here i will say uh, text of red 500 and margin top to 3 okay for title let's add the uh, font to be bold and margin top to be 3 okay and the description i will add the text gray okay so if you see right i am maintaining the same uh, styling throughout the uh, application right and that is very important and for this i also add the margin top three and if you see the change right and let's look quite beautifully okay now the remaining part is to add this um, author information right so for that one i will copy the same existing intro post author uh, div okay and paste it in blog or you can uh, create a new div so new component and then you can uh, use that component uh, um, everywhere right but in this case i will keep it here because the thing is right i am going to change this size of this uh, uh, image the author image right that's the reason and also i will update this text of 12 pixel and here also i will add the text of 10 pixel okay and if i save it let's see how it looks so you see it look perfectly beautiful okay and as i saw right because if you remember right we give this grid depends on the screen size right now if i decrease the screen size right like this you will see the change right oops sorry so let me bring okay so for example go to the inspect panel and if i decrease the screen size right you will see now two uh, column if i increase screen size will you see the three columns if i decrease more and more and more you will see only one column and it's like a mobile view if you see this mobile view right so responsiveness and if i decrease screen size this is how it looks for you okay perfect now i am giving one challenge to you right so we pretty much completed this section but now we have to add the footer like this right so it's uh, i will keep this to you and try to add the footer for this one if you don't know and if you face any challenge right uh, i kept the uh, this uh, source code link in the description you so you can check it out right and everything else right so if you did not subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and watch this full course right and if you really want to run react native as well then uh, watch this my course which i just launched uh, newly okay and this is a uh, perfect and new updated course uh, for the beginners so in this particular video we are gonna cover how to navigate uh, and see the details of the blog right so if i click on any of this particular uh, blog post it will navigate to the new page and it will show and you can read the full blog on that particular page and if you see this page 
uh, the page uh, view will look like this so if you see right once i click on any of the post it will jump on the new page where it will you will be able to read the whole uh, blog post okay so it's very straightforward uh, very easy to design and that's what we are covering in this particular section so main two topics how to navigate uh, from one screen to another screen so for that one we are using the react router and then we will uh, implement this particular blog post detail uh, page okay so before doing any further delay let's begin so right now uh, we are in our application right and in app.jsx we have this information so what we will do uh, we have to add the react dom okay in our application so for that one let's go to on browser and search for this react router right uh, this is the official website of react router dom where you have to install this react router dom so just uh, install this line of command so we already created the vid project right um, and we have to install this react router dom so i copy this command uh, open a new terminal and over here i will paste this line of command okay so it will take few seconds to install all the dependency which is needed for our react router dom now once it installed right first thing uh, you can check the example how it use and everything right uh, in this case we are using the um, browser router okay so there are different different components and each component is meant to be for different purpose in this case we are using browser router and if you see the browser router is basically used to store the current location in the browser address by a bar using the clean url and navigate using the browser built-in history okay so what you will do in this case right for example if you want to uh, see the blog post right you will just type uh, some for example blog detail something like this slash and the blog id okay and once you click on that one you will see the blog okay now let's go back to our application here we will replace this uh, react dot strict mode with the browser uh, router okay and uh, make sure you will end this tag okay and save it make sure everything is running okay and if you see everything as it is uh, i will remove this one this is just for the example okay and if you see everything is running as expected now let's go back to our app.jsx right so over here we have to add the router okay before that i will create a new page so here i will create a new page called blog.jsx so a read block a blog detail i will say blog detail okay blog detail dot jsx okay and i will add the default function like this so here okay just a second we have to change name we don't need to give the dash over here so i will just write blog detail okay and now i will add the default function like this okay and save it now we have the blog detail page okay now if you go back to <coughs> app.jsx here we will add the routes Okay, which is very important so first of all just write routes okay and uh, inside this one we have to give the route route in the sense which pages we want to uh, show it here right so for example in this case the route you have to define like this okay then you have defined the path okay so initially when uh, we open this particular url of our website right so we will give the uh, default page and the default page will be uh, we have to mention in the element tag okay so in this case our default page is home right so i will copy it and paste it here as simple as that so once the page is loaded it will uh, default jump to the home uh, component right and if i save it i will go back to our application and just refresh it so right now you get error right go to the inspect panel go to the console and see what error you are getting so it's saying router is not defined okay so in this case make sure you add oh sorry make sure you have to add the routes okay the import you have to import the statement 
and make sure the route is also there so add the route so if you see both the statements are imported and now save it now go back to our application just remove this console refresh the screen and you will see you don't see any of this is different error we will remove that later on but if you see it jump to default home page right because we give the path just as a slash okay now another route so if uh, i just copy paste the same uh, line of code but here in this case we will say blog detail okay and i want jump once i click on this blog detail i want to jump to blog detail page right which we just created okay and i save it right now if i go to this url right I copy i will copy this url and i will paste it here right it will jump to this blog detail page you see right and the page which we created is just like this okay and it only contain the blog detail okay this is how simple it is the routing is okay you don't need to do anything just need need to add two is a two step process right just need to add the browser router in main.jsx which you need to wrap uh, the app in between the browser router and then you have to define the which are the different routes you are gonna use in your application so in this case we we are using two routes obviously one is the default route we need to mention okay and another one is the blog detail page now let's add the on click function so once you click on any of the post we should jump to the blog detail page right so go to the blog.jsx where we have this block right and uh, you can add the on click function here or uh, you can go to the let's go to home.jsx we have this intro block and blocks right so let's go to the blocks and here we will add the on click uh, function okay so for this do what i will do i will add the on click method so let's add on click okay and here i have to add the navigation right so we have uh, in router provider inbuilt hook call use navigate so let's define that so i will do constant navigate is equal to use navigate okay make sure you import this uh, use navigate from the react router dom so sorry this is the react router dom hooks okay not a uh, react hook okay once you define this navigate you just need simple mention the navigate and then you have to specify the route so okay so in this case if you see right this is our router name which you need to give so it's nothing but a path name okay so if i go to the blog.jsx and then here I will, I will define like this okay and save everything now go back to our application so i will back go back to this page i will refresh it once okay and if i click on any of this page if you see it jump to the blog detail page okay so if i click on this one it jump to the blog detail page same thing you have to add for this um blog the intro blog as well right so i will what i will do i will copy this on click method okay and i will go to the intro post.jsx over here in the this div i will add this blog detail and i make sure you will add this navigation as well now you have defined constant navigate is equal to use navigate from the react router dom okay and now if you go back if i even though if i click on this one it will go to the block detail just if you see right the cursor pointer is not correct one so what i will do i will make the cursor to be pointer okay and now you see if i click it's going back to the block detail perfect now one more important thing right you need to know which um id you click or something like that right so you, you have to pass some id of the block right like this so for example six or seven right so in order to achieve this right you have to make sure in the router you will pass the id of the block so go to the app.jsx right in this app.jsx you have to add the id so in order to, obviously this is the default uh, this is dynamic id right the id can be changed anytime so in order to define like this you have to define like slash colon and define the id okay like this so this id could be 5 6 7 1 2 whatever right so you have to define like this and then now if you go back to the uh, blocks right over here 
you have to define the uh, id you have to pass the id okay so here just define slash okay and you have to pass the id so in this case is item dot id okay that's all and if i save it make sure in intro post also so you have you have to pass that one okay so here i will i will add the here i will pass the post dot id post dot id okay and save everything now go back to our application if i click in on this right if you see block detail slash one is coming okay if i click on this this uh, third block right you see block detail slash three is coming okay perfect now this id we will use in order to fetch the block details okay from the api there are two things right you can on the click you can pass the information directly on this page or you can fetch the information i will prefer to fetch the information the reason is right even the user come on this part to page and search for block details slash slave one it's supposed to get some information on the screen that's the reason we will fetch the information from the api depends on the id selection so right now if you see right uh, once you land on this block detail page we don't have header right and if you see the mockup we want the header on the block detail page right the similar header which we have on this um, front page right this header okay so in order to do that right in order to use the uh, or write the same uh, different code for the header what we can do go to the home.jsx and here we have the header defined right remove this header from here and go to the app.jsx and add it here like this right and save everything now go back to our application if i click on any of this one you see you got the header but we don't have any padding on the screen right so again go back to home.jsx if you see right we gave the padding in home.jsx okay so remove this padding so i will remove this padding from here right save it and in app.jsx i will wrap everything in div okay like this add this uh, padding as well and wrap this in div and save it right and now if you go back you will see the change okay? see even though if i go back right the um, header is still there if i jump any of this one you will see the header along with this block detail page okay perfect now let's implement the api call so go back to the global api over here right i will paste like this and let's say uh, you can just mention get post by id right here you have to pass the id so in this case i will pass the id like this and make it as an arrow function okay and here you have to pass that id so i will just add the id id like this okay perfect okay so base error is there block is there just i'm passing this id and if you want to see the end point this is how it looks right i'm passing the id as a one and i'm getting the result okay all the images blocks details and everything okay make sure you will add it here so that it can be accessible throughout the application now go back to block detail right here if you remember right we are passing the id so in order to get that id right you have to accept that id here so you can mention like constant okay then the name of the id which we pass so in this case is word id is equal to use param okay again this use param is from is a react is a react router dom hook okay and mention like this okay now in use effect okay we will check whether we are getting the id or not okay so i will define use effect with the empty uh, array and i will just write the console dot log id comma id okay and save everything right now go back to our application go to the inspect panel go to the console okay and if you see ignore this um, above error and if you see we got the id as a one okay perfect now here we are getting this key prop because uh, let me uh, explain that one as well so in the blogs.jsx right here we we iterate this particular post but 
we have to define the key for each of these elements so you can just define the key like this and in this case i can define item dot id like this okay and save it now if i go back okay clean everything go back to our application and if i refresh it now right you don't see any error okay now let's go back to any of this post now if you see id is coming as a one okay if i go back and if i check another one if you see id is coming as a two and this is nothing but the url id okay this is the parameter which we are passing now this id uh, let's go back to our block detail page and this id we are using in order to fetch the block detail page right so here i will add new method called constant get block by id okay like this and here you can define global api dot get post by id okay and here you can define the you can pass the id right you can have to pass the id dot then and accept the response okay so here we will get only one response okay because we are passing the id so you can write the response as well console dot log response dot data okay that's all and make sure you will call this in a use effect okay like this and save it now go back to our application and here right if right now you said two and if you see we got the data right so inside data we have the data attributes and all the details hello see we got the all the details right now we have to map this information the one which we map it in a uh, maybe block.jsx right or no not here let me check so over here right we map it correct so i will copy all of this code and now go to the block details right and paste it here now here right instead of uh, so we are not going to map directly because we only have the one item right so directly we will uh, map it so we don't need a word called map so we can just define like this result is equal to right like this and this response that data is nothing but the response dot data dot data we have to map so what i will do i will make one constant called item is equal to response dot data dot data okay so it's contain item and then item dot item. i think this will work okay and i will remove this console from here and i will paste it console dot log result comma result okay make sure the mapping is correct so let's go back to our application i clean it and refresh the screen and now if you see we got the result right so we have the image description id tag title everything okay so mapping is correctly done now let's store this in a st one state so let's add constant post comma say post is equal to use state okay and what i can do we can just pass this that uh, means you have to you can set the post using the set post and we have the post value now okay so inside this post we have this fetch information okay now next what you can do we have to imp uh, add the ui right so if you see in the ui right first of all we have the tag and then we have the title okay so first of all we add the we can add the tag so inside this i will add the tag so here you just need to define like post dot tag that's all and save and if you go back you will see this react native see react native okay add the all information and then we will add the styling to this one after this we have the title and then we have this uh, user logo the name and everything right so we have the title so i will add the s3 tag again so post dot title okay we will add this um, author's information later on okay first after um, before that we will add the image and description so after that we will add the image 
source oh sorry uh, image source only okay like this and here you can add the post dot uh, cover image okay and then lastly we have post dot description okay and save everything now go back to our application and make sure everything is coming up you see everything is there okay now let's give some styling according to this one correct so now first of all uh, add styling to this uh, tag so here we'll get class name and we'll say the uh, text red oops, sorry uh, text red 500 right like this and uh, i will change the font size as well to 16 px and save it let's see how it looks i think this is okay then if you see the title title is in bold color and the font is little bit bigger okay i think change to 14 then i will add the class name okay first of all i will add the text size to 30 pixel then i will make the uh, font to be bold so you have to write font bold and then save it let's see how it looks so let's see it look good just i will decrease the size little bit so i will decrease to 26 okay and this is 26 is i think okay okay now let's decrease little bit like 23 okay then we have the cover image Okay. and if you see right we want everything to be in the center right we, we are sh uh, putting some padding from the x-axis so what I will do for this div right class name and I will give the some padding from the x-axis to 20 okay. Um, okay 20 let's see how it looks okay. and this is much better okay even though if I decrease the size right it looks perfectly fine okay when the screen size is much smaller we can um, minimize the size so what i can do i will do i will add this pixel 20 on medium size screen and if the smaller size screen add the 10 and if you see maybe six only and this is okay okay also we give some padding from the margin top means we give the margin from the top so here you can say margin top to maybe 10 okay perfect okay and i want to decrease the size of this much smaller maybe 20 okay yeah, perfect okay now let's add some uh, height and width for this uh, image so first of all add the class name and here i will round it the corner so I will round it to 2 Excel. Okay. And if you see right, if you see the mock-up, we have the rounded corner. So also rounded corner for this one. And I will give some margin uh, from, the, from the top to be 5 and margin bottom to be 5. Okay. Or you can give margin Y actually. Okay, that's that will also work for you. And if I remove this one. If you see it's perfectly fine but it still is not in center and uh, let's let's add some styling so if um, the uh, screen size is medium we give the padding x to 20 but if screen size is larger we can give padding x to the maybe a 35 maybe 36 and let's see how it looks okay this is i think okay maybe more i want to give Let's say 56 okay like this and uh, this is i think okay okay and make sure this uh, image it will be in the center okay or you can do this uh, width to be full so let's say width to be full okay like this and uh, i think this is perfectly fine right this this look good to me and if i decrease the screen size 
obviously it will match the width and height okay see okay also padding is changed depend on the uh, screen size as well right and everything is look good now the next part we have to uh, change the layout of this one okay if you see our mock-up how structurized uh, this will be right and the same way we have to add for uh, this particular description now next now next if you see uh, the description is not in the format right the correct format which we want and if you see the star star is coming the reason is in the strappy uh, here right in the strappy uh, we have the rich text formatter okay and if you preview the code this is how it's supposed to be look like okay and right now it's look like this only the uh, plain um, html text okay so in order to update this one right um, we are going to use this uh, react markdown library okay this is third party library which help us uh, to um, export or to uh, style the given HTML okay in the correct format so it's very easy to use just you need to install this dependency and once you install this dependency you have to write this particular line of code okay so I already installed that dependency if you did not install just go ahead and install that particular dependency okay and over here you just need to add this react markdown tag and in the tag you have to provide children as the post or description okay so this is the children property of the react markdown where you have to provide the data which you want to display and here you can provide escape html something like this right also i added this uh, tailwind css styling the leading line is nothing but the height okay line height if you go to the tailwind css official website and search for the line height in the css you will see this class name okay so right now i gave uh, leading line okay so it gave the space between the two lines okay and i save everything i will remove this line of code from here and now if you go back to our application you will see the formatted data you see now it is formatted some of the text is bold okay and if you see this our uh, see our code okay if you go to the preview mode this is how it looks okay so it's quite easy and make sure you will use the react markdown okay and that's all next if you see our mock-up right we have this uh tube guruji and everything this author information everything right so we already have this component so let's go back here uh maybe go to go to the blog.jsx and here we have this component right this particular one i'll copy all of these things go to the blog details okay. and after title i will paste it like this okay i don't think so anything we need to import this is because this is totally a purely hard-coded value and now if you see i am getting this particular author information as well okay and it is quite similar to this uh, our mock-up okay so everything is ready on the screen okay now go back to the home screen okay you will see the footer over here but if you go any of this block you don't see footer the reason is you need to um, remove the footer from the home.jsx and you have to paste it in the app.jsx the same thing which we did for the header right so i will paste it here like this and save it now if you see okay yeah uh, make sure you will import this footer okay so import the footer and now i open any of this one okay you'll see the footer like this okay if you don't want in padding to the footer you can put this uh, footer outside of this div okay like this for example foot like this it will work see perfect okay also now this home button about us contact us is not working right now right now if you want to click on the home button it's supposed to go on the home page correct so go to the uh, header okay and for this home right you can put the on click method and here you can navigate to the home page so here first of all define the navigate is equal to use navigate which need to be which will import it from the react router dom and use this navigate to the home uh to the home screen right so let's save it let's 
paste it click home it will go to the home page okay and as i say this is fully responsive okay even though if i change the screen size see it how it looks right if i open any of this one it open and this fully responsive even though if you go to the mobile view or any ipad view it's fully responsive depends on your screen size i hope you understand uh, all of these things okay if you have any any question any doubts or anything put it in the comment section or you can dm me on my instagram channel so now if you see right we have this filter option but right now it's not working so let's implement the feature to filter uh, filter out this particular um, posts okay so first of all let's go to search.jsx here we have the all the tags okay which we are using so in this uh, on click method right you can um, add one more uh, method here so like this and you can set selected tag value right in here you can pass the name of the tag so in this case name is item dot name okay and this selected tag will pass back to the parent component okay so this is how you have to do you have to pass the value that value you have to pass it in this uh, props and in the home.jsx you have to um, um, accept it here right so same name you have to use it and then you can define like this right so in this case if you want to console it you can console and just make sure that you are, you are getting the correct value so i will write tag and save it right now if you go back to our application and if i click on the any of this particular filter right you will see react if i select the angular then angular is displaying okay now this value the tag name we are using in order to filter uh the filter out this particular post right so i will write one method called filter post is equal to i will accept the tag value here and then error function so instead of this console.log what i will do i will just call this filter post and i will pass this tag value okay and now we are getting tag value here now we have to use this post in order to filter it filter the value I'll, uh, here i will do one more uh, state okay so i will say original post and set original post like this okay original post set original, original post then this set original post will contains all this post okay so here you just use to set the set original post okay so make sure a very initially in the set post you will set all the uh, result which we are getting from the api right now here you can define constant result is equal to you will filter it on the set original post okay so set original post dot filter and you can filter on the item dot tag which is equal to the tag if the item dot tag is equal to equal to tag then only it will store and filter filter and store in the result okay and then you set post value to set the value for the post okay and save it now if you go back to our application okay and if i click react right you get any uh, some filter is not a function set okay so here instead of set original post we have to use original post okay this and now save it go back refresh the screen once okay now if i click on react if you see only two post is coming okay if i click on react native only three post is coming means this is the same post okay. in angular we don't have any post ui ux we don't have any post if i click on react again it will show react but if i click on all we don't have anything for all right so here we have to add a condition if tag value is equal to equal to all right, we have to set post original post so original post contain all the posts right we say return nothing okay now if you see click react only two post react native and if i click all we'll see all the post okay i hope you understand this one so this filter is working now so 
we pretty much completed our blog website okay and uh, everything is ready to deploy on the web server so if you don't know how to deploy the react or vite application on the versal or a share hosting you can watch uh, this two video where it explain how to deploy on versal and also how to deploy on sh share hosting so guys uh, that's all for this particular uh, video i hope you understand uh, how to create the blog using the react and the telvin css and if you did not subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and press like button share with uh, with your friends and family and in the next video if you really are looking for how to add the loading shimmer effect uh, when we are calling the api right that time we want we can show the shimmer effect so that effect we can also show so if you really want that tutorial please comment down in the comment section um, and just type shimmer uh, in the comment section and that's all okay so until that time see you in next video